Anybody know what these are? Shaking them. Well, at this point, I always like to uh, give a little love to the uh, Float On group. Um, they do such an incredible job with this conference every year. Um, starting with Janine, of course, because she's, I think, on her, I think that last count was 500 flights of stairs over the weekend. So congratulations, Janine, you're working it. But Ashkan, uh, Jake, and Graham just obviously do a tremendous amount of work for uh, getting this off the ground. They've actually just made this community a living, breathing entity, which I think we all are uh, very, very grateful for, as well as this group over here, this audiovisual, it's, it's happening over here. So let's give them all a good. Well, before Don and I started at, uh, at Peace, I was fortunate to play 12 years in the major leagues. And I played with some incredible stars during over those, over those 12 years. And one of them was Junior Griffey up here in the Northwest area. And um, just a tremendous guy, a tremendous, you know, emerging star and ended up just going into the Hall of Fame not too long ago. And I always had a lot of fun with Junior because uh, I always used to say, you know, Junior, this game's easy playing with your swing. You should try playing it with mine, okay? It's a little more difficult. But uh, Junior was a wonderful guy, and the reason I bring him up is we have a, uh, we have a lot of emerging stars that are kind of coming forth in this industry as well. And I'm gonna highlight a few of them, and I haven't told them, but um, there's a lot of good stuff going on, and I know there's a lot of you out there that are starting your new uh, your new venture, you're, gonna, you're thinking about opening a float center, and just, I know there's a hundred successful out there, but I want you to take a look at what uh, Float St. Louis is doing with Kevin and Jacob. Unbelievable stuff, what they're doing in, in St. Louis. Um, we've got Annika Float in Chicago, Lindsay and Paul doing unbelievable stuff there, knocking the cover off the ball in Chicago. Okay. We've got Float Baton Rouge, and I bring them up just because I love their name. It's spelled F-L-E-A-U-X-T in Baton Rouge, which is pretty cool. I like that. And they're doing great. That's Jamie and, and Curtis. Um, we've got uh, Kevin and Carol Johnson, Zero Gravity in Austin, doing great works down there. And then we've got, obviously, Rochelle and, and Gary and Folsom with Pathways to Veterans. So there are so many resources out there for the ones that are starting their new centers, you need to pick their brains. They've got a model that's working, and um, I would highly encourage you to go talk to them. Everybody's very willing. I think we all know we're a community service out there for most of our communities, and so everybody's real, real willing to talk about their successes and, and what they're doing to make it uh, successful. So, real important to do that. Um, so, Don and I have had a nice run at that piece. Um, I wanted to kind of just touch on maybe some synergistic therapies that you can bring in with your float center. Uh, we've had a lot of luck with, mas uh, with massage therapy. Um, and I know we have some massage therapists out there, so this isn't related to you because you are your bosses. But gypsy, um, massage therapists can tend to be like gypsies sometimes, okay? So it, there is some work involved in bringing them on. Uh, but for the most part, we have had great luck with our therapist. It's a contractual basis. We do a 60-40 split with them. We give them 60, we take 40, and they drop about 5,000 bucks a month to our bottom line. So there's some real money there, and uh, I know it's, you know, you have two schools of thoughts, but if you're thinking of going that way, I would, I would take serious consideration with that. And there's a lot of ways to market that as well. And I know Groupon was here, I think maybe they did a workshop or something, but it's really important, you know, if you're, if you're gonna do Groupon floats, you're only getting 20 bucks a float. There's somewhere similar to that. But if you have a massage therapist that's coming on board and they're a contract laborer, they're usually coming from Massage Envy, 
massage heights. They're coming from a corporate massage place. So they don't get to bring their book with them, okay? So they need bodies. And we tell them that. We say, listen, you're going to have to market yourself one way or the other. And so you're going to give away a $25 massage, which is what we give them from what we get from Groupon. Or you're going to have to spend a lot of money marketing yourself. Um, and so they're on board, and they're on board with that. And so we run 50 of those a month. We cap it at 50. And they can opt in or opt out. But it's really great because then we get to piggyback on top of that Groupon and discount a float 25%. And so you've got, now you've got, in the Dallas Fort, Fort Worth area, you're looking at about 4 million Groupon purchasers. And so every day they see that. And they see your, your spa. They see the, uh, the float with it. They see everything that's going on, and they look at that every day. So it's basically free advertising to you. Plus, they'll call up and they'll go, hey, love the, you know, and it's first-time clients only uh, for the massage therapist. It's their job to bring them back, you know, with a good massage. But um, then they'll ask, you know, so what about this float, you know? And then they, they just say, yeah, put me down for that. Well, as a proprietor owner, you guys are getting 60 bucks because you're going to have your default price maybe at 80, you know, uh, that you rarely get. But that's what you want to keep it at if you are going to run a Groupon. And you'll end up getting a $60 float on top of that massage. So it's a really great way to do it. Um, you know, some people are turned off with Groupon for whatever reason, but it's really worked for us, and I think there's a, an adequate model there for, you know, if you guys want to incorporate that into the, into the equation for you. Um, lastly, in talking about our float cabins, we have just um, come up with our ETL, NRTL listed cabin. Um, what is that and why is it important? Um, the ETL is Edison Testing Lab. NRTL is nationally recognized testing lab. And so what's happening is the municipalities and the inspectors, they're wanting to distance themselves really from a lot of the liability. They don't know where to categorize us. So they throw us on, you know, they throw us in with pool and spa, which is not where we need to be. But if you have that marking, that ETL, NRTL marking on your complete unit, and we all have it. All the manufacturers have ETL listed, you know, components, NRTL listed components. They don't even want that anymore. They want the whole unit done. And it's just basically shifting liability away from them and, you know, onto the, onto the testing lab, which is great. Um, it's costly and it's tiresome. And anybody that's dealt... You know, we're all pretty unregulated for the most part, um, but if you've ever had to deal with some inspectors and some municipalities, you get down the road and you go, you want the whole unit, you know? And it's like, wow. And then you just, you're wasting time and money and energy and it just becomes, it becomes kind of bothersome. And I know there's some people out there that I've walked through it with, so it's, uh, it's not fun. And so we're real proud that we've gone through that and we have it. And uh, it's going to be important for the clients going forward. Um, I hope it doesn't go that way. Uh, and that kind of leads me into piggybacking with the uh, Float Tank Association. If you guys haven't become members, I would highly recommend it. This has been kind of a dead entity for the last, you know, 10 years. But power by numbers is how we're going to do it. And we can, you talk to anybody here, if we get the good enough group going, we can start setting our own standards and writing our own rules and really dictating how the states and the municipalities are going to look at us. So I would highly recommend you go on. I think they're on the second floor, but they're up there. And, and go ahead and become a member. And, uh, and I think we'll all, you know, reap the benefits of that. And I think we're going to be doing a new board at some point. But this is really just, we're, we're trying to re-kick this uh, off. So we would appreciate your, um, you know, your involvement in that. So lastly, before we get to the trucks that we brought in from Texas, all the way down from Texas, all your food trucks, um, we're going to give away a cabin. All right. There's a lot of creative people. I mean, they dog-eared it. They, uh, they accordioned it. Um, so I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do the, the honor here. And we'll, um, nobody loses today, though, okay? Um, whoever doesn't get picked, 
Uh, we're offering our last year price on our flow cabins, which is our business package was two flow cabins for 35 grand. So you get two cabins, uh, no add-ons, everything comes standard. If you, uh, the only other cost is going to be shipping and getting two installers out there to put it in. Another thing, a couple other things before I pull. Um, person must be present today to win this, okay? Else we keep drawing. Uh, float cabin is for retail only, not residential. Non-transferable and no cash value. And then obviously the, uh, the shipping costs and everything are on you. Um, you have one year to get this done. If you want it tomorrow, you got to give us six to eight weeks. That's basically our turnaround time. So hopefully you're that excited and we'll, uh, uh oh, what is that? That's, my business card. That's your business card. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we're looking forward to this. This was actually a dream of Float On. Um, we weren't privy to it, but when we, uh, when we let Oshkon and, and Graham and Jake know we were going to do this, they said, you know, we were waiting for one of the uh, manufacturers to do this. So we were happy to do it, and we're looking forward to presenting it to somebody. And that somebody is Devon Locke. Hey. We got somebody there. Come on up. Where? I can't see you. Up there. Now, where are you located? You're in BC. Woo. All right. We've got one in Cochrane, Alberta. I think we can get one up to you. All right. <clears throat> That is all I have. You guys enjoy the, um, enjoy the lunch, and uh, we'll be up at our booth. If you have any questions regarding anything, we'd love to uh, talk to you about it, and uh, enjoy the rest of the uh, conference. <laughs>